Mark Watney, and I'm still alive. Obviously. I have no way to contact NASA or my crewmates. But even if I could, it would take... The Martian years. blasts off at theaters this weekend, already raking in big dollars at the box office. Matt Damon plays an astronaut who must somehow survive on Mars. His best bet is to rely heavily on science. And many experts are impressed with the film's accuracy. Eli Glasner is here with more on that because sometimes sci-fi people... Sci Science geeks go, that's yeah. not possible, that's ridiculous. This time Hollywood did its research. Science geeks are applauding. I mean, science is the hero. Part of what makes this movie so entertaining and why it's maybe breaking records now in October is that the heroes here are astrophysicists, rocket engineers, the geeks in the back of the jet propulsion laboratory. And so people have been watching this movie and looking at the details and saying what it does right and what it does wrong. A lot of things that it does right. Well, for example, the, he the movie uh, has Mark Watney stuck on Mars, he grows potatoes to help him survive. That's something that NASA is looking at right now. They have a lot of calories. Uh, something it does get off is the windstorm. There's a windstorm at the beginning that strands him there. Well, the atmosphere on Mars, there you see the wind. Well, the atmosphere is only about 1% of Earth, so it would be more like a stiff breeze. Also, gravity on Mars is rather light, so he should have been bounding a lot more than just walking. But other details, like where he finds the Mars lander and plugs it into a computer, well, NASA computers actually have that kind of compatibility so that could really happen but rather than try and play amateur scientist myself we took the question and put it to a real former astronaut commander Chris Hadfield here's some other astronauts that are actually talking to the cast of the Martian imagine that opportunity so there's been a lot of uh, back and forth between the actors and the real-life astronauts and here is a former real-life astronaut Canadian Chris Hadfield who says they got the behavior the way the astronauts would approach this dilemma properly. Take a look at what Chris has to say. So when I saw the movie, I, uh, I sort of knew how it was going to go. And the movie's very exciting, and the big uh, action scene at the end is extremely nerve Even though you know what's going to happen, it's still nerve-wracking. All the little technical details, you know, I'm the, I'm the worst guy in the country to watch that movie for, for picking, you know, the little technical stuff. But, but it's like any expert watching a movie. You're, the producer and the director have to simplify it to tell a story, and you just want it to be technically right. Always love hearing from Chris Hatfield. All right, so this movie is based, though, on a book. How did the author get most of his details straight? I love the story of the guy who wrote The Martian, and that's where a lot of the accuracy comes from. This is someone who was a software engineer and a self-described space geek, and he actually wrote this book in chapters and released it online. So that's the cover to the book, The Martian. Let's take a look. We have a picture of Andy Weir, and he put it out there when he was just a young man, uh, 27 years old when he started. There he is right there. And he would release this book online, chapter by chapter. And the reason he did that is that gave him more time to get the details right. And when he would have something wrong, well, his fans that were reading along would contact him and say, OK, you know what, you got the gravity off there. Or that thing about biomechanics needs to be changed a little bit. And so by the time this was actually released, it was so accurate that now people at NASA say this is required reading and could help support a new uh, public uh, getting behind the manned mission to Mars. Wow, that's incredible. Are you giving your review? You're not giving kind of I have given my review, I and know. I gave it three and a half out of five. You can find it online. There See? you go. I was hoping it would be a bit better than that, but that's pretty good. Thanks, Eli.